Alright, this is update number three on the gasifier. As you can see, I've got the uh, cyclone filter finished, got the lid on and tight, and there's a small layer of orange high temp RTV silicone between the lid and the cyclone. Two inch pipe, and this is just bought at any local you know, automotive parts store, uh, pre-bent and flanged on one end, which made slipping it together and welding really nice. On the bottom of the cyclone filter, you can see I've got a uh, 24 ounce, that's actually a sauerkraut jar. Uh, it's a one inch pipe nipple, nipple sticking out with an uh, eighth inch plate. It's got a one inch hole drilled in the top of the sauerkraut jar and four quarter inch holes. And before I bolted everything up tight in between the lid of the sauerkraut jar and that plate, I put a, a, a pretty good bead of orange high temp RTV silicone to seal the whole unit. And it removes uh, very easily to empty out ash contaminants or, or things like that. So then we follow the piping over. This is all two inch automotive exhaust pipe. And it runs down here and I built a, a flange, quarter inch, uh, three inch by three inch flat bar. I drilled four matching holes in it and then welded each side of my piping to that. And there'll be a, a thin layer of orange RTV high temp silicone in that as well and then into the bottom of this is a little bit bigger than a five gallon drum it's it's really close I, if I had to guess it's probably about six gallon or so and that two inch pipe extends through the bottom of that drum almost all the way to the other side not quite about seven eighths of the way through and there's a cap welded on the end of it and in the bottom half of that pipe the bottom radius I drilled about hundred and fifty quarter inch holes so the gas could come out the bottom of the pipe and, and run up through my filter drum. But uh, keeping the holes on the bottom side only keeps the sawdust from filling up that pipe. At least that's, that's the plan. And that drum is filled up to about this level or so with sawdust. And if we come over here, I'll show you the sawdust I'm using. This is the sawdust. And uh, you know, there's nothing real, real special about it. It's, uh, it's right out of what you get. You know, just running a chainsaw. This is exactly what it is. It's Douglas fir uh, chainsaw dust. And in my last video, I was really worried about whether or not my small little uh, squirrel cage fan was going to be able to pull. You know, through the sawdust filter. That was my biggest fear. It didn't have a lot of suction. So what I did was. Uh, went ahead and filled up this barrel. I started in increments a quarter of the way and half the way and three quarters. Anyhow, and each time I'd fire up the fan and with a lit cigarette, I'd hold my cigarette right about here and turn on that blower motor to see if it could suck the, the smoke from the cigarette down through the intake tube and pull it through the sawdust. And, and to my surprise, uh, it, it pulled great every level from quarter to half to three quarter to clear up to seven eighths uh, that little squirrel cage pulled just fine all the way through it um, it had a great graft so I, I'm assuming it's going to work um, you know it's like I said before it's a 12 volt DC fan it's got a, a hot in the ground and something I've been using to test this because at the moment I don't I don't want to run uh, battery cables you know, jumper cables from my truck or, or yank out a battery from one of my vehicles to test this. So I found a, a really neat way to test this thing. And what I did is, you can see my extension cord here, this little power pack. What this actually is, is a 12 volt AC charger. It's a, it's a 120 AC to 12 volt DC charger for my son's power wheels four wheeler. You can see sitting over there, a little Yamaha. Anyhow, it's the, uh, it's the charger for the battery in that. So you just plug it into 120, and you take the other end, which normally would plug onto your uh, Power Wheels battery, and I just stuff the wires in the end, and I can run my 12-volt DC fan off 120. So really, you know, I don't have to worry about a battery running dead or anything like that. You can run it indefinitely, so long as you've got power. Um, and it, it makes a really great way to test run this thing and, uh, you know, without having to drag out a battery or worry about the battery going dead or anything like that. So that's it. Uh, I'm down to putting a little silicone in between my two flanges and bolting those up. 
and uh, I got to run down to the store and pick up a bag of pellets and uh, eventually out of the squirrel cage fan it'll come into a, a automotive radiator and out of the radiator into some sort of little distribution block I'll probably run uh, like three one inch ball valves so if I wanted to uh, for instance I've got this little tiny generator over here uh, it's about a three horse and this gasifier was built to run up to a 15 horse engine so I was going to experiment and see if I could maybe run that three horse generator on top of running you know a uh, like a chipper or something like that a seven or eight horse chipper I wanted to see if I could run more than one thing at a time on it but anyhow so that's that's about it I've got to build my little framework that it's all gonna sit on and uh, get the radiator hooked up but I think I'm gonna fire this thing up tonight and give it a try just because it's it should be ready to go shy of uh, a radiator or or more commonly called a condenser to cool the gas but uh, there it is, update number three.